Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and also welcome to my new kitchen. As you may have noticed we have moved house and this is basically my new kitchen. It's pretty dinky, very very tiny compared to the previous kitchen. However it's got everything that I need and yeah I'm actually quite enjoying cooking in this kitchen. Anyway, so today I am going to do a really refreshing salad recipe. No cooking involved, super easy, and really it's just using up bits and bobs that I have in my fridge. It's not a sort of recipe that I've sat down and gave a great deal of thought to. It's a bish bash bosh affair. So we're going to start with our watermelon. What I'm going to do is kind of cut a wedge out of the middle, and it depends how thick you want your wedge. So I'm probably going to go about there, I think. And there we go, so that's our little wedge just here. Now I'm gonna get myself a little knife so I can kind of cut off the rind. Um, so yeah, like I just wanna cut out the, the central bit. watermelon wedge. Um, I tried to get it as neat as possible but you're not really going to see it other than the kind of outside of it so I wouldn't fret too much about it. So yeah I'm just going to put it onto a little plate there and I've got um, some nice fresh rocket which I'm just going to load up on top and I've got my cucumber here. One of my favourite things to do is to cucumber into ribbons and also carrot and courgette. So yeah, you just use a potato peeler or a vegetable peeler. I'm just gonna load those on as well. You can kind of curl them. They're quite easy to curl. So that's plenty of that. I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of uh, spring onion. I think I'll actually just take um, some of the white actually and just chop it as finely as you possibly can and then just kind of separate the, the spring onion before sprinkling it over the taste of spring onion works like really well obviously in salads but particularly with um, watermelon all right, this is totally optional, but um, because I have them, I'm going to throw them in. Um, it's these olives that I find in, in Little, and they're stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes, and I just think like the tininess will go really well with the, the watermelon. See, so, yeah, I'm just kind of mincing these. It'll probably look prettier as well. satisfies you know that that need for creaminess so that's a good I would say like heat tablespoon another favorite of mine is cider vinegar so I'm just gonna put in a little bit of that for some tang got some good old Cornish sea salt here don't be afraid of that I'm also going to put in a pinch of this. It's sea salt mixed with uh, pepper, and pepper goes so well with watermelon. So yeah, good dash of that. And then you can either use agave or maple syrup. It's entirely up to you. And again, it's like however sweet you like it. And I've got some. Oh, that's a good soft one. And a good little tip if you don't already know for. Uh, lines is that if they are quite tough if you roll them 
on a surface like this and it really loosens up all the juice inside and makes them a lot easier to squeeze. So yeah, I'm using lime juice, but you could use uh, obviously lemon juice. Um, another citrus fruit that I really love in tahini dressings is blood orange. But I think lime goes really well with watermelon. So in that goes, half one of those. And again, it, dressings are all about taste, so just keep tasting it. Um, and if you think it needs a little bit more sweetness, then obviously add you know more agave or more maple syrup. Whisk it until it kind of emulsifies a bit. And it will get super thick very quickly, as you can see. And again, this depends how thick you want it. So I'm going to just add a teensy bit of water because I kind of want it to be a little bit pourable, more pourable than that. Anyway. Yeah, that's a good consistency. Cool. Give a little taste. Yeah, that's fine. On. Okay. So I'm gonna just drizzle a little bit of that over. mint here that's definitely seen better days. It's a bit bedraggled looking. Uh, but you know, waste not want not, so I'll chuck a little bit of that in. And obviously mint and watermelon go really well together. So I'm just gonna really finely chop that. Go overboard on it, but you know. And I've also got, for some crunch and texture, I've got some sunflower seeds here. stop there if you wanted to add anything else then that's entirely up to you but I'm trying to keep it you know really simple and show you that you don't actually need much to create you know a really impressive and quite you know beautiful dish I love all the colors like the pink and the green and I think it looks pretty spectacular if someone served that to me if I went over you know to my friends for some lunch I'd be pretty happy this is just to give you an idea of how I work in my kitchen and you know I really kind of try and keep things very very simple I don't overcomplicate things I don't have you know a whole pile of specialist ingredients it's really pretty basic and it's also you know really good you know on a budget level because I don't have you know stacks of money to go out and buy you know crazy ingredients from health stores and whatnot so yeah it's quite I think it's quite accessible um, but it's also really delicious and you know pretty healthy as well. I almost don't want to like cut into it because it's so pretty but I'm going to Instagram it. This is the window that I always do my Instagram photos at if you're interested. Um, I've got hardly any memory on my phone so I'm actually doing this like sneaky little thing where I'm actually taking the photo through Instagram and it somehow still saves it to my phone even though my phone memory tells me I don't have any memory. Anyway. Hands off who takes a thousand photos before deciding that's enough. I'm going in. Here we go. It's almost too pretty to eat. I think anyway. A nice big wedge. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so good. The watermelon's sweet. But it goes so well with like the real creaminess of the tahini and the lime. And I love the olives with it. Like it really just kind of like cuts through all the other flavors and it really works. So if you like that recipe, then obviously give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, then why not subscribe and share and tell all your friends about it. I shall be uploading more recipe videos in the future. 
maybe a little bit more informal like this one. I'll let you guide me actually. So if you want me to do specific videos, Q and A's, more what I eat in a day videos, you know, vegan fashion, vegan beauty, you tell me, leave me a message in the comments and you know, I'll see what I can do. Until next time.